uh, got a nice little video uh, about hooking that up, tying it with our door, and uh, double checking that Jordan doesn't have the first news story because he just pieced the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Week. The show that us the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. We are back at it. We're still here. Um, still trapped in our rooms or perpetual four walls of, yeah, you know, it could be worse. That's kind of where I'm at. I'm Vin Stone. That man up there is Jordan Fang, holding down Toronto. And you know him, you love him. All the way on the island, right next to the majestic love is a strong word <laughs> majestic nicholas cage one patron mateus and together with you shot room dynamic <laughs> at home live watching us helping us form cocaine voltron people we're still here we were talking in the previous super shows and well no just like right when we went live there's still stuff going on so that's good to know with the, the entirety of the world locked inside we can still get some shit done right Says you. I mean, now is the time to get shit done. There's no one outside to tell you otherwise. Just, yeah. <laughs> do people like stand outside your apartment and yell at you to do other things that instead no. of like what you're currently doing, Pedro? No. Is that a thing in the UK? Here's what I was trying to talk, Pedro. I was trying to give him some bad ideas because there was this uh, lad in the UK because you're allowed to walk your pets while he took his goldfish on a walk. <laughs> 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 now, now, pets. now, did he like take it out of the water on a leash? Did he walk around with it in like a little plastic bag full of water? I'm just saying, Nori, get a leash. <laughs> I, thought, yeah. I thought you were going to say, get, I thought you were going to say, get a plastic bag. And that's going to get dark real quick. <laughs> oh, speaking of bags, man, uh, uh, are you keeping Canada occupied? No, I'm just sitting here eating nuts. Oh, nuts. Those Burn. nuts. <laughs> Those nuts. <laughs> Hold up legitimate nuts, man. Oh, dude, I, I couldn't be around. Do you think that bag's going to survive the nine? I have to talk through most of the night, so probably. Okay. If it, if, if, <laughs> if I were, like, playing a game or something, like... Well, well, while I was playing the, the game for this week, I was just sitting there snacking on them. That's, That's really, an like, easy a enough good... game to do that, right? Yeah, exactly, right? So... Hmm. Fair enough. How about you, Pedro? New stuff? Uh, how, uh, arts and crafts, the perpetual arts and crafts. Like, I'm awake. Uh, I have to work. But I also <laughs> need to keep occupied and sane. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> keeping <laughs> occupied is not a problem. In fact, I would very much like it. Uh, if uh, Because, yes, today is Saturday. And I still had to unlock someone's account. I hope she doesn't watch the show, but yeah, there's that. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, no, it's, um, it's, I've had some free time today, which was nice. And, uh, so I decided to go start going through the laptops and I, uh, the last one was a T42. I gave it a good scrub and I made sure that, uh, 1804 was up to date on that thing. That's a 2005 laptop mm -hmm. running 1804, 32 bit. Nice. And that's the last version that it'll ever run because ain't no more Ubuntu 32 bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to put it uh, to the pastures, and um, I'll oh, find another distro. <laughs> dude, just put it on eBay. <laughs> put, put retro on it, and somebody will overpay for it, guaranteed. Uh, the one gigabyte of RAM versions like that that look all scratched up and messy go for one hundred and fifty pounds. That one is spotless and has two gigs of RAM. And when I'm done with it, it'll have an SSD in it too. So. 153 <laughs> best i can do <laughs> free shipping though you know what can you drop it off at my house <laughs> can you drop it off a cliff <laughs> dude uh interesting news is uh we we get like this little unicorn thing that i've been threatening to get for two fucking years and um <laughs> The four ports. <laughs> the four ports are furry, baby. This is legitimately four ports of uh, fuck you because that's why. It's the nuclear option. I'm, I'm sure Pedro and Jordan have all experienced it. I want to capture this game. And uh, OBS will laugh at you and say to Portal 2. Yep, there, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, yeah, that that's the shining example of that. So what we're rocking and rolling with is this is a four 
4K 60, 2160 um, UHD encoders on this one card. And uh, I had a heart attack. I told Pedro about it because I got a notification that it had been delivered, yet it was not in front of my door, nor were the postal people. And of course, my first thought was, oh, so it begins this adventure. Uh, that's how that's got to work out. And But no, no, I had it. Uh, it. I didn't get it shipped to my house, so I went and picked it up and it was there. It appears to be working. We're testing it out tonight. And uh, Ooh. everything sounds weird because I have uh, new cans, some uh, Sony 7506s. I was like, ah, yeah, I want to get those. That's the thing. Happy with them. But they still How's sound your weird. head doing, though? Hmm? I don't know, you're not getting a bit of a squeeze? No, no. No? Uh -uh. These are reasonably flexible. I mean, you know, I, I really like these, but then Jordan noticed them after two years, and I just didn't feel right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's as good motivation as uh, Ven will ever find. I, I felt like it was being watched. Uh, <laughs> don't buy a pair of these. Uh, or, In fact, don't buy a pair of these, because you will hear every artifact and every bit of compression in anything you've ever listened to. So just keep that in mind. It's kind of like trying to keep track of the horse. I mean, the horse has gotten compressed kind of recently. Whoa, that's not the right thing. Boom. That is not the right thing at all. It will be soon. It's the steam! Damn it! Linux! Stop day! Don't oh, do it! Four, 400 episodes in, and we're still <laughs> fucking up. It's That's great. It keeps things, it keeps things lively. <laughs> Bum, ba -da, bum, ba -da, <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we bum, gather here today to pay our respects to really. Ba -ba -da. You know what? You know what? I'm going to go out on the limb and say I'm probably not the only one who went, wait a minute. You could do the VR on Mac. What we're talking about is <laughs> we're looking at all events as a Steam VR event for Mac OS. And this one, I'm very like, for our brothers and sisters, um, Sad to report that, uh, yeah, Valve just told you to get stuffed, which hurts a little bit because you imagine if you spent the coin on a Mac capable of running VR in any shape, form, or fashion. But Jordan, you know, then again, yeah, you, like, you had the cash to buy a Mac that could do VR, so you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the, the, the amount of money it would take to get like a Mac Pro that can run a VR application at a decent frame rate, mm -hmm. you could buy, you could build a PC and buy a, like an index for that money. So, and uh, put down a down payment on a house. Big not, not a, not, to do that. Not a, not a house. <laughs> Maybe a car. Maybe a car. A house is stretching it. A nice tent. No, no, down payment. It's like down payment. It's like 50000 You can spend 1000 on the index. You spend another 2000 on uh, 50, a computer 50, that 50, can run it. pounds is a down, man, down payment on a house, maybe. Not 50000 It's 50, a Dalmatian bucks. on a house. <laughs> it's, it's, all, it's all spotty and is prone to cancer. <laughs> and probably deaf, man. This... Oh, because this could very easily have been us. Like, hey, if we were into VR or anything like that, Valve could have was like, yeah, you know what? We're just not going to do the Lynx thing anymore. It's going to be Proton all the way. Deal with it. Which at least we would have option B. Mm -hmm. This is not the case in mm -hmm. me. So, <laughs> no. That's just really although, although, I do think, I do think there is a project that is getting Proton running on Mac. So, but I don't think it's a Valve sanctioned one. Do you think it was just a combination of metal, um, no NVIDIA option and uh, Apple going, hey, everything in the store needs to run with 64. I, th I think I think I think that's definitely like a contributing factor. I think it's like all of the above, right? Because mm. VR on Mac isn't like I, I could see like maybe some enterprise usage, but like the people who are playing games on Mac are playing like indie games or they're booting into Windows to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, they're they're not mm -hmm. they're not treating their Mac as like their main gaming system. It's more like, hey, I have some games loaded on my laptop in case like I get bored and I need something to do. And people who have uh, high end Macs, most of them are running Hackintoshes. So, hey, actually, man. the people the people who are running high end <laughs> Macs can't take their computers holding with them because their company owns them. <laughs> Those are workstations. <laughs> Let's get get a little bit of proton news. We got some weird proton news this week. When you yeah, yeah. There, there's a bit of a really odd. that happened. 
Yeah, they released uh, 507, uh, the release candidate, for testing uh, four days ago. And it's like, oh, uh, we're doing a new thing. Street Fighter V is now playable. The XVK is updated to 161. Uh, it's For some reason, they felt the need to put out an RC because um, they say it's like, we are interested only in problems that are new to 507RC builds. If you find new problems in the next branch, uh, please confirm that the problem does not occur on the default branch. So I guess they were, uh, they made significant enough changes that they were worried about regressions. And well, uh, yeah, no. well, we'll think, we'll think about it. Cause like last week, uh, <laughs> GE, their Proton had to like release a major patch because of some driver breakage right so i'm pretty yeah. sure Invi i'm pretty sure P valve kind of got spooked and they're like you know what let's get this into some people's hands before we release this because we don't want to like break shit and have to like Im immediately snooch out a uh a patch just like the last time um one but, of the you things know, i saw that was kind of interesting is you know just just with these early beta versions is <laughs> they're working on getting better performance on in dx12 in proton just, just because mm -hmm. you can, and the, you, yep, they you might get like that. Well, think think about it too. Like most of the DX11 work is done. Like Dixvix is not updating the DX11 stuff. It's all DX9 Fair now. Yeah. So they might as well change, switch their attention over, <laughs> because they have more influence on that project. Hopefully, they'll fund it a little better and assign some more resources to it, so that we don't get burnout and we don't lose the yeah. principal developer. <laughs> so, uh, Proton official though. Yeah, it, it, yes. and three, <laughs> two, three days later, it gets released. Uh, and surprise, surprise, Street Fighter V and Streets of Rage 4 are playable. There's a new version of Dick's Fix. Trackmania has working sound now. You can do multiplayer on Borderlands 3. GTA 4 is playable. And play the Talos Principle with DX12, because why use the native version, I guess? <laughs> I don't know. I thought this was I, interesting, man. Um, this comes from Loop. You know, I'm on Pierre, Pierre Loop Garou, Garou, the werewolf, uh, the werewolf the flagman. Flagman. He threw out this twit, <laughs> twit, yes, this twit. Um, thanks to the Streets of Rage 4 developers providing pre-release keys for Proton development. Um, it'll run out of the box. That's the thing. You don't have to play with it. You don't have to tinker with it. That's, um, uh, that was nice. I the guess... developers to keep Linux in mind. Let's, <laughs> let's be nice about this. I mean, it's better than nothing. Question mark. Right. Another question mark. Going the other way. Um, <laughs> it, it's the upside down question mark. My, my reflex reaction for this was, wait a minute, that's got to be using Unity or something. No, it's not. Um, they have their own in-house engine called um, Guard Crush. So I couldn't do the deep pulp. Why didn't you tap the export button? Maybe they just didn't have one. Out of all the games, um, I, I looked at it. I looked at the trailer and it's like, I remember this. I, I wanted more hipster pixel, right? Well, you can uh, unlock the hipster pixel characters apparently by playing long enough, but uh, no, I, I, I looking at this whole thing is I guess this is the future for most games with developers who don't really want to do slash know how to do or how dare care you, Pedro? About You're doing... killing the Linux gaming industry. Yeah, maybe they don't really gel with Linux, but they're not completely opposed to it. So it's like, wait a second, Valve made this Proton thing. What if we give the Proton developers keys and they make it work for us? You... It's like, oh, free I mean, community I mean, a, port. Huh. A, 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 a sale's a sale, right? Like, right. That, 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 that's, what a, that's what a lot of these uh, smaller devs are saying. Like, we don't really care what platform you play it on. We won't necessarily provide first party support for it. But if you're going to buy our game, we're not going to stop you from getting us Valve money. has been that's doing asinine. a very good job with the, the Proton github yeah. issue tracker so yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> it, it's, it's the whole making their own windows like i said we're not every not every company is going to be a subset and they're going to put in the effort to like make their engine cross-platform and you know a year later actually produce a linux port but like i said win 32s kind of went out as the dominant game executable format so leaning into it it's not ideal but at no. least we can play stuff that that is kind of the conversation, the argument we have to um, have with ourselves. I does it really matter at this point? No, I mean at this point, yes, hundred percent, it does. We got issues like anti cheat stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But moving this forward in the future, I, it eventually will not matter. Uh, yeah, yeah, but 
Bye. It's the anti-cheat feature and maybe some weird new DRM thing that they introduce because even like controller support and everything else, Proton fucking nailed it. it you throw a controller at it, it goes, oh, wait a second, let me check SDL too. Yeah, you can use that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that, 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 that's also more because of the Steam input integration where everything is an Xbox controller. Everything is an Xbox yeah. controller. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's awesome. Break out your Nintendo power pads. Uh, we do have a couple of new games to report, though. That's true. We do. And the first it's one, uh, well, uh, mostly due to my cock up, we shall not be throwing chairs at it uh, <laughs> tonight, but don't oh, worry. No. Next week. Uh, yes. How will I? Live? This is Iratus. Uh, Lord of the Dead, and it is reverse Look at this darkest Warhammer dungeon. Warhammer thirty nine point nine thousand. Dude, like. dude, it's gr it's grim darkest dungeon, right? Because you, right? you play the yes. baddies. Yeah, it, it, it is uh, grim darkest dungeon, reverse darkest dungeon. You're playing as the undead lord that is sending out the hordes of undead to uh, defeat the humans, and you um, you can create your own undead. Or you can pick them up from random levels where the like loot a grave and oh look there's an undead here and you unlock it and then you'll be able to create it going forwards. Uh, there's uh, yeah no if, if you like this particular genre if you um, went through Darkest Dungeon and said I want more but mm -hmm. slightly different. Yeah. <laughs> it, well, it, it definitely looks the part. I guess we gotta wait until yeah. next week to see if it plays the part. Um, because it, it, do, it does look like an interesting twist on the formula, right? Like trying, trying to let's let's be the baddies. Let's give you all the annoying like debuff moves, and then force you to like a, go through war of attrition against the the player characters. What I really actually hope it cause the insanity on the NPCs instead of them causing it on right, you. Right. I I really hope it's not just like well, it's the exact same formula that we flipped it. So now you're just playing the monsters, um, and the monsters play exactly like the heroes. That, I think that would be a misstep in a race. I, I, I got my money on like yes, yeah, this, this is a skin pack. <laughs> I, I, I I genuinely hope it isn't. I'd like I to be wrong, but honestly, I'm gonna be hundred percent with you. Uh, I probably couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> I, probably. It, it's fifteen minutes. Ben gets wrecked. I'm like, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Try it again. Um, <laughs> me, me, a, the table top more robust. Nerd. From what I played, there's a more robust inventory system than there was with Darkest Dungeon. So good. Is yeah. there an inv inventory <laughs> system with like proton packs? Fire them up. I didn't think That's so, man. We, Let's talk we, about we, we need another Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters Yeah. <laughs> Phil, filament. Um, there's an abandoned spaceship. You got to wander through it and wrap string around stuff. I'm sure David Carradine would absolutely love this game. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, it's a uh, it's a puzzle game. Much in the realm of, like, Steven Sausage Roll, you can tackle the puzzles in any order you, you want. You got to be careful when you make that comparison. <laughs> I, 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 I followed it up with a qualifier, man. I okay. followed it up. Okay. But yeah, the, 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 the puzzle mechanism, I couldn't quite tell what exactly you need to do from the trailer, but it is a matter of like connecting all the pegs with your, with your string. I don't know. Um, it looks like it could be interesting, but it also looks like it could get real annoying real fast. Uh, like some puzzle mechanics we'll talk about later in the show. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's available now. You can well. There's a demo too, so if you want to try it out before you buy it, that's pretty good. If well, you want I mean, to get you the can try it out if if it runs under Proton because that's demo versions Windows only. That's true. Uh, mm. Otherwise, you got to buy the Lady Marmalade edition for an extra four bucks. <laughs> I mean, get if you, it doesn't you, work, yeah, yeah. Steam refunds are a thing. Mm. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I always want to take a look at stuff like this because you never know. Because on on the tent, Steven Sausage Rolls looks like an overpriced cash grab like until until mm. you realize they're like these puzzles will fuck you up and fuck with your mind it's probably and then you go the top wait there's more than one island <laughs> video game <What>? puzzle <laughs> puzzle video games ever made and it's totally right that the price is there to keep out like you you like psst, let, me, let me tell you oh you like puzzle games oh do you do you want like the one that will break you no, 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 no. I'm not talking about Baba. Um, there's another one. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah that's another one. <laughs> that's gonna be. Really I mean, ba ba Baba is great. That's... <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like the more you know about that game, the more you go, oh, oh, god. <laughs> there's, there's few things that bring me some semblance of joy than a game that within the first five minutes just 
wrecks me. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I get it. I'm still going to try, but jeez, fine. Yeah, the, 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 the bridge was, I think, the first game we ran into like that. Where mm -hmm. We're just like, what is this hipster, like, <laughs> Edgar Allan Poe shit? Right. And then we start playing it and we're like, okay, good. Okay, those yeah. puzzles are actually <laughs> legit. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, apparently there's been uh, one and two of this. Uh, apparently, because this is number three, Hinterhalt. And uh, it's basically first person army men, like the little army men toys with the green soldiers versus you know, the I tan soldiers you, versus you, the you red soldiers. On, with like the film grain. I'm looking at it now, though, and I'm like, you know, if you were going for like the pulp comic look, I mean, I've seen it's, worse. It's definitely a cell shadier Borderlands. Yeah, That's... it's like you go for the full on cell shaded because after all, you're supposed to be playing as, you know, the little toys. They're all monochromatic. So, uh, yeah, it, it makes sense if they were to be cell shaded. It's just like that film grain effect. Is, is that really necessary? And can I turn it off? Also, another weird thing. This is a first person shooter. It's like, join the battlefield in this chaotic warfare and dominate your opponents in this whimsical and unique setting. It's like, oh, that sounds great. Does it have multiplayer? No, it's single player. Mm. The fuck? Mm. <laughs> mm. well, Seriously. What, the what, fuck? What, one other thing you need to keep in mind is don't play this on a 21 by 9 monitor. They're mm -hmm. very clear in the system requirements. Play this with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio or else. Son, if you play this with a 4 by 3, it will cut you and you sleep. You'll just, you'll just die. Your heart will stop. Dude, too. Uh, this reminds me of like Army Men minus the multiplayer. There was mm -hmm. that there's that free one that ran okay in wine a while ago. It was UE4. Mm. I forget what it was called. Its name shall not be spoken aloud. But yeah, that that, that one had multiplayer. This mm. one, uh, maybe, maybe it does, and Steam hasn't learned about that yet. I have, I have no. You idea. know what? Bold move, though. You got to give to come out with that, and you we can't say, well, it'll have a dead online community. It's like, haha, touche. There is no online community because <laughs> there's no online. <laughs> oh man! All right, let's get out of here. All right, coming up next. You want to play your Epic Game Store games on Linux? Well, too bad. At least you can get a launcher for it. Also, new Godot, or some progress for Godot, anyways. And wouldn't you know it, that wraps up the uh, Steam segment. So now we need to take a bit of a break to thank you, all of you who make this show uh, possible. You decided it was a good idea for us to have a sort of a budget. Jordan, Jordan what do you think? To do, do, get does, things does going? Scott get a point for that one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, you, 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 you get a half a point. That's a Canadian level half pun. Point. Yeah. Right. You, you, half yeah. point. Half a real point. Uh, half a point. All right. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a half chub. But you could give all of us half chubs by supporting this nonsense by heading on over to linuxgamecast.com and moving your mouse over the support button. That's all I got to do. Following. Sweet. Check it out. And following some of the links. No. I'm trying not to no. choke to death on an almond shell, but I'll I might not. Win-win. <laughs> Keep going. We'll, 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 see, we'll see if I die. Um, <coughs> there we go. Um, you, you can support us a number of ways. We got PayPal, we got LibrePay, we got Bitcoin, shitcoin, whatever the hell you want to send us. Um, but the best way to do it is head on over to patreon.com slash because yeah. you get immediate rewards. Oh my god, it's that instant gratification that you've been conditioned to crave since you were a small itty bitty child, since you were a twinkle in your daddy's balls. Um, you can get access to our show notes, you get access to our Discord, uh, you can show up an hour early on Saturdays to get the pre-pre-super shows in and listen to us complain and debug stuff mm -hmm. for an extra extra hour it's amazing it's great it's good stuff uh we got we got to thank some patreons um yeah, we because do. we got we got we, we got do. a couple new ones uh we got abstraction <laughs> das geek and <gasps> nice nope. try god um and <laughs> zero x 4d coma who has requested a challenge of coma us? Toes. <laughs> okay uh yeah here's the thing because i get a little message and you know always drop a message you know if you want to get in touch with us you know hey you're the bosses we'll listen it's like, yo, 0x4d, or however the fuck old Jordan will try to pronounce that, to which I said, uh, oh, Jordan? Ox oh, Oxford. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, it might have been a hollow victory, but it was a victory nonetheless. Uh, uh. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> oh man, we I got, do I got each and every one of you. As uh, I dropped some new things for patrons, we got a little special thing going on. Uh, two new things. Earlier this week, I did the 2020 <gasps> studio tour and get some water, son. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> Uh, 2020 studio tour just a step back behind the scenes how everything's set up here at LGC Actual take a look at it and see how we're doing everything with Jack um, networked IP based audio all that fun stuff that's there for you to go check out it's boring but if that's your jam you'll like it and I'm tired of these rumors that I only do these when it's time to re-up my homeowner's insurance this is fabrications no nothing like that <laughs> um, also this little bit of kit that I picked up. Uh, this was like, hey man, I want to know whether or not at Linux is the X Touch Compat. No, X Touch One. Yes, next to the X Touch Compat. Uh, got a nice little video uh, about hooking that up, tying it with our door, and uh, double checking that Jordan doesn't have the first news story because he just pieced the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, he pieced out so hard his camera went out of focus. I, I will take that <laughs> as a victory. Um, win win. So, what do we have up first? Well, uh, before we get to that, I do have a thing that I need to read. Yeah, Fine. because Mir uh, decided to buy me a pack of 50 uh, tea pigs. The Earl Grey Strong variant, which is like the best in my opinion. So I got to read the thing. It's like, enjoy your gift of delicious tea with a capital D. I see what you did there. Uh, may capital. it help you deal with, um, well... I'm fluent in late speak, but I'm just going to read it out as it is. 1D10TS while working from Mir. So thank you, Mir. Thank you very much. I was just going to buy those myself, but you're like, oh, why don't you add some tea to your wish list? And I did. And uh, thanks. <laughs> I searched, man. I couldn't find um, Mr. T. <laughs> uh, before, before we get out of the plug segment, go buy a t-shirt. Store.linuxgamecast.com. Yep. Yeah, do it. Yep. <laughs> wear us on your face, chest, and neck. I still got to do the fanny pack. Where, 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 where the t-shirt on your face? Do it. <laughs> you know, uh, it might. No, man, I don't know. Uh, no, retro pie. <laughs> okay, retro pie four point six released with Raspberry Pi four support. Yes, it's uh, retro pie four for four for. Four, 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 it, yeah. No, it's 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 yeah. four point six, not four point four. It's a chroma value. You go to hell. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the big uh, big change here is that uh, they've introduced Raspberry Pi four support. They do say it is labeled as a beta. Mm. As they expect to improve things going forward, so that's good. Uh, they have updated Re RetroArch to uh, 185 Emulation Station, which is like the little fancy GUI that you see, is uh, updated to 291. And, well, there's a, a bunch of stuff, including IO Quake 3 for the Raspberry Pi 1 mm. through 3. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's basically just an image refresh with some added Pi 4 support. And by that, I mean, they booted it on a Pi 4 and made sure that things ran. So here's one of the things I'm wondering is, like, oh, get off my lawn. It, it genuinely pains me um, thinking of, like, the PS1, PS2, N64, like, that generation. Once we went with the 3Ds and throwing retro after that. I'm like ah, uh, but no. Well, you but. got you gotta you gotta realize that in like twenty years, it's gonna be like, oh, you didn't play this with a VR headset, you didn't jack into the Matrix. That's so retro. Mm -hmm. You had to use a controller. <laughs> yeah, I saw Back to the Future. Uh, you got to use your hands like a baby. Uh, yeah. is anything from those earlier generation of consoles? Uh, it, it, Raspberry Four should be able to cover all that now, right? Yeah, definitely. Up until the PS2. Oh. And, and, and N64 gets a little <laughs> sketchy because that was some weird yeah. hardware. But N64, Mup N64 has been around for a long time. It's been reasonably accurate, except for like a few like mm. weird things like with Mario Kart and some stuff like that. But I remember the days when uh, Yabaus, or however you say it, the Saturn emulator, mm -hmm. it ran like poop. Probably still one, does, one, 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 once they were, they had to reverse engineer the BIOS, right? Because like that was yeah. <laughs> that was the big uh, that was the big stopping block. That thing didn't. Uh, yeah, there's a great YouTube video with a uh, guy's like after 20 years, I he's like sit down, he's like there, it's done. Yeah. Um. 
As things go, man. What's legendary, though? It's epic. Epic! Oh! <laughs> it's a free open source replacement for the Epic Games Launcher, man. That's right, Lutris. You had your chance. Epic's here. It's Leg and Ari. That's really or is, a- it, is it Lee and Lee and Oh, man. Lee gender Y. The world may never know. What works? Authenticating to Epic service, downloading, installing your games, Delta patching, updating, install, oh. running games and wine on Linux, and launching games with, wait for this, online authentication. Planned. A simple GUI. Uh, importing installed games from EGS Launcher. Better interface for other developers to use. Legendary in their projects. You hear that, Lutra? Spider! Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, you pretty much uh, put a bow on that. So does it really do much right now? Well, I mean, it, it does more. It does about what the Epic Game Store launcher does. That's what we were talking about in the pre-pre super shows. And yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not going to give these guys guff for like, having a minimal implementation, because Epic has not like done a proper client either. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, so, the, the Epic I'm, Games I'm, I'm, Launcher is the Epic Games Launcher. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give him crap for doing the work that Epic should have done in the first place. <laughs> I'm just saying be careful with the real shopping cart in that thing, man. They might just buy you. <laughs> that's, that, that's true. If you, if, you, if you want a nice, chunky Epic Mega Grant, that may be the way to do it. Epic's just like, yeah. oh, you're doing our work for you? We're going to pay you less than we would have paid the actual developers we hired to do this. Mm. But you know what? It's fine. But yeah, no, like that thing you mentioned, it's like better interfaces for other developers to use legendary in their projects. Yeah, yeah, that that that's gonna get Lutrist. That's gonna get Lutrist with a quickness. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's good. I uh, I look forward to the day that I You think I'm forty, Linux Nuru? Yeah. He's he's like seventy, so he's confused. Age is just a number to him. Um mm. <laughs> how many games I know I have like two or three games on the Epic store. I have to. I know for a fact that I have none. I, I, I don't have I deleted any. my Epic account a while back. Yeah, but you <laughs> I do think that. I, I think I yeah. still have one for like uh, the Unreal Engine for Source Tree, but that was oh, yeah. that was that was about it. I don't know. Um, keep up the good work. Uh, it's a good start, but uh, we do have some news about Easy RPG, which can often be a hit or miss on Linux. We're, 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 we're not we're not doing Hearthstone. Oh yeah, that's up next. Fine. Yes. The Linux stone, not Spoilers. Ven, as uh, it would uh, imply, but no, no, uh, this is Bitch, Hearthstone you for Linux. Stutter, you had it right the first time. So, someone please make a Hearthstone <laughs> Linux implementation called Venstone. It would just make me it's so just happy. Called Venstone. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, it's uh, basically a DIY uh, native client for Hearthstone on Linux. And uh, all you need is a uh, MacBook or any kind of Mac VM that's actually working. I don't know, Pedro, working. it really seems like step one's go buy a Mac. <laughs> a VM will do it for the most part, and you can install it even if it doesn't run. It just needs to be up to date. And if you have an update installation on a Mac, be it, you know, physical or emulated uh, hardware, uh, you can get the files and then you install the Unity Hub for Linux and you run it uh, by running the Unity Hub in the terminal with the Unity Hub um, URL that they include in their GitHub for that specific uh, specific um, version. So if the game gets an update, which from my experience of playing Hearthstone, it gets updates fairly regularly, so you're going to have to keep that VM around to get the updates. But yeah, the, there's a craft.sh script that basically does everything else for you. So does does, does it mean, come with a mine.sh script? It, it does not that I'm aware of, does, but... Does uh, this come with like a book on how to deal with like more effectively with self-hatred? <laughs> No, that's in, that's in the uh, latest Humble Bundle. Ah, all right. You're sorry for old code. Um, but yeah, no, the, one of the things that they do mention is that uh, you may get banned. Your account may get banned because it's your, not official. Your, your account and, will get banned. Mm. Well, yeah. I mean, it's and Blizzard. Uh, you're just... Blizzard. You might get banned have, anyway, right? 
Yeah, they have a very colorful history with, you know, undo bands, especially where Linux is concerned. So do you really want to poke them? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 make, what, what makes it even worse, too, is like periodically it sends a server request to the Blizzard servers that just says free Hong Kong in the UDP mm -hmm. data. Dude, just to, just to here's one of the things more. like, uh, that's what we did at the contest, you know, how they had like in the last days of Club Penguin, they were doing like who could get banned the quickest. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a fun race. I'm just saying, man. But we'll, we'll think about it. Easy RPG. Easy RPG. You might have uh, been a fan of RPG Maker back in the day because you could make your own Dragon Quest, Black Dragon Hookers. I know I, I was obsessed game, with it. Or a variant, a slight yeah. different variant of the one template. It, but um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's it's a bit of an old program now. Uh, so Easy RPG has been aiming to ensure that you can play your uh, RPG Maker games on modern OSs. Um, they... Um, they, they have a new release now, uh, not 6.2. Uh, one of the big things now is symbolic links work under Linux. So now you I can... I thought you were about to tell me I, it's got an embedded LimeWare client. I mean, it does too. It <laughs> that's does what too. it looks like. That's, that, that's where you can download your system of a down songs that aren't actually system of a down. Um, <laughs> it's just porn. Uh, yeah, the the uh, the focus of this release now is performance because, as according to this blog post here, uh, compatibility is pretty much done. So now they're just trying to get it to run as well as they can. Um, they have some fixes for switching audio sources, better event interpretation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can read through this entire change log because it's pretty long. The links to this is in our show notes. A lot of them are game specific fixes as well for uh, targets, just because you know. Hey, we have specific implementations we need to fix, blah, blah, blah. Um, so check that out. Play some old fan-made RPGs and have yourself a damn fun time. I have a very serious question for everyone, though. Va. What have you done to Kirby? <laughs> Cur listen, Kirby Kirby deserves it. Kirby knows what they did. Don't uh, mix Vulcan the, the monkey Kirby. head. Yeah, no, it's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, this, is, this is the monkey that the monkey's paw came from, right? Yeah. Uh, Godot has the Vulcan progress report, number seven by Juan. Um, and it looks like they're chugging along nicely on uh, the Vulcan implementation. They got screen space reflection implemented, sur surface scattering, uh, and they've taken a page out of the uh, Black the Mesa. Head. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they've also <laughs> taken a page out of the Black Mesa development team's books, and they've shifted their focus to the lighting. Uh, they've provided some utilities like accurate at frame time info, which is definitely a useful tool for, you know, performance tuning. And uh, if you don't like what Godot is doing with your shaders, they are now exposing the low level stuff. So you can import your GS GLSL Vulcan shaders, they'll get converted to Spur V. And they are exposing the underlying graphical uh, subsystem so that you can make your game work the way you want by pr producing meth addicted monkeys and sickening, sicking them on your player base. Mm. <laughs> I was sold, with, sold, man. Uh, Vulcan monkeys. Yep, Vulcan no, monkey, that monkey Vulcan. head. It, it it's all over. <laughs> That's gonna replace the whale in my nightmares. Hey, this is really cool, man. Accurate frame render time. Um, yeah, down with that. Uh, it it you can make some pretty stuff. What what's the latest news on? We all know that one game demo that showed up. But that was the, you know, the 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 third person shooter. That one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what has become of that? It didn't go like Full know. Metal Centel, did it? Uh, maybe, maybe. I, th I think that was just like a proof of concept, though. Just to be like, here's something you can start hacking on. That's mm -hmm. basic bare bones third person shooter kit. I want to play that. Yeah. I, I want to see, you know, some because I mean the text there. It's attracting the talent. Oh yeah, yeah. especially in like uh, Brazil and Eastern Europe, they're loving they're loving Godot and and lot, lot, also lots of indie projects too that can't necessarily afford uh, Unreal as licensing or want to go with Unity and get locked into that whole mess. Mm. <laughs> Which seems to be the great majority of them, but... Mm -hmm. But I, 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 I think that's more due to lack of good alternatives and Godot is shaping up to be that yeah. good alternative. Well, it is. And I get to freely admit, you know, if we backed it up like a year, year and a half ago, uh, I was genuinely worried about Godot because they were doubling down on uh, OpenGL. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And saying, but, ah, this Vulcan thing, yeah, it's, it's At one point, pass. they specifically said, it's like, we're not doing Vulcan. They, yeah. There's no point to it for us right now so we're not doing well, it it's like... that, 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 that's because they wanted that mac support but you know lo, lo and behold <laughs> mac's not being very gaming friendly also M molten vk came out so they're like oh hey we just get mac support for free brilliant oh, yeah. 
Yep. Good times. <laughs> Man. All right. Coming up next, maybe, yeah, although, but then, but huh. Sometimes perhaps. you feel like a nut, sometimes you choke on one at the beginning of a segment. Like perhaps. <laughs> Welcome back to the Chair Inquisition, where the accused game must survive trial by Fedora, Neon, and Debois. And then only the question, then and then only the question can be asked. Is it fun? Uh, this week we're taking a look at The Great Perhaps by Cagliari Games. It's done on Unity. You can pick it up for about 10 bucks US. Uh, and the summary goes, The Great Perhaps is a time travel puzzle game about an astronaut returning from Earth destroyed by a natural cataclysm. There he... Among the ruins, he finds an unusual artifact, an old lantern, in the light of which you can see glimpses of another time and travel to the past. Um, Renaissance PR sent us keys for this, so thanks a lot, guys. Uh, let's get started. How did it run on Debois? Dude, this thing, this thing's pretty hot. It's pretty insane, man. It's not necessarily a graphical juggernaut, but I gotta give it like a pretty straight, clean bill of health out of this thing. This is over here on Debian 10 testing. And that's running on a Threadripper 1920X, 32 gigs of RAM, NVIDIA 2060, displayed to 2160p, solid 60, but you'd kind of expect that. I was pleased to find out and be able to report it. Works with the X-Clone controller and the PS4 controllers out of the box, no problems. But if we want to talk down to, like, gameplay itself, man, dude, this game, this game, this is hop, 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 fetch quest, yeah. hop, 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 because you know what? You land, you see what you're going on right there if you're watching the video version, man. The world has gone to pot and you discover a blue lantern. It's like, uh, you know, a regular blue lantern minus the hope since it allows travel between your current dystopian hellscape and the past. You look around, you dodge some trains, you run back and forward uh, 11 times. Uh, so a little girl will give you a fucking key, man. A key. I should say hop, since that's the preferred method of locomotion. Oh, yeah, no, you got to do the quick three bunny hop throughout this uh, entire thing. You just do, man, because you walk at the speed of smell in this thing, and it's hella annoying. I kind of feel that mechanic's there to stretch out the time, maybe a little bit. I want to say mm -hmm. the game has puzzles, but, you know, they're so simple. And then again, if you look to this, like, uh, maybe as a kid game, kid's game, maybe, but uh, the puzzles are more like just glorified fetch quest, 100%. But hey. The time thing, honestly, it's a fun gimmick, but an hour in, it's just sure, and it's sure they got me uh, killed constantly to death. I died so many times getting that balloon to that kid. Mm -hmm. My counts, I, I just lost all of them. It's like, ah, uh, this, this is boring. I'm upset with this game. I'm a little hangry. Finally, I got past the gate. Then I, I was dead again right after I got past the gate because I didn't understand what the game was laying down for me. And it reset my checkpoint all the way back to that clown man. So I said, mm -hmm. fuck this. I'm out. Uh, I didn't rage quit. I just simply didn't have the time to like plod my way across that level again. Didn't care for it, man. There's going to be a lot of that in the video. <laughs> all the sirens kicked in and I'm like, honk, honk. Then I gave it one share. True story. Yeah, uh, on Fedora 30, 64 bit with the 76700K and the GTX 1080 Ti, and the cops after me! My God, yep. they're gonna shoot me! Um, the uh, it launches out of the box. It's not really much of a graphical juggernaut, and your only options are the resolution and the language. It did pick a weird starting resolution for me that was like 2880 by something. Mm. Ran fine though; it didn't look weird. But I bumped it up to UHD, and it ran 60. So it's fine, fun wise. Oh boy, I am not a fan of that voice acting. The main guy is like the most egregious. Everyone else is like kind of passable, but they only say a few words at most. The main guy just sounds like Tommy Wiseau waxing philosophical about time travel with his like AI girlfriend, <laughs> who is either a really, really bad speech synthesizer or a really bad impression of a speech synthesizer. I didn't quite figure that one out. Um, beyond that, you got your lantern that lets you see shit from the past to the future for about 30 seconds and travel to the past for about 30 seconds and who boy you got to manage that 30 seconds because like much like manuel samuel i got into the habit of like in manuel samuel you have to breathe periodically so that you can focus on the other things here i gotta jump back into the future because you only got a short amount of time and if you are standing in where like a pit is in the future or that mole fucker is in the future mm -hmm. or there's like a pit of acid mm -hmm. in the future then you're just dead and there's nothing you can do about it because you can't move um but 
it was so it's kind of necessary to just constantly shunt back and forth to reset that timer. Uh, the past feature mechanic is kind of neat though, and I do wish they would let you explore more than the thirty second glimpses. Also, you can like interact with people, which means that either it's some sort of like simulation hallucination thing, or there's going to be some grandfather paradox ship that will rip a hole in the fabric of space time itself. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Every, everything was all well and good until I, until I took an elevator to the fifth floor of a hospital, and then it got stabbed to death by a nurse. Uh, yeah, and mo You're most of most of the stairs. Uh, it, it, I know, listen, but I know. it was just a little close for home for him, you know. <laughs> right? No, like, yeah, you're supposed to take. I, I figured that out afterwards, but like, hey, there's an elevator. I'm gonna go to the top of the building, and I come out, and there's a nurse there, and she's like, "Hi, stab," and then I died. <laughs> um, I don't know. Is that how nurses nurses work at actual hospitals? If you go into one of the wards you're not supposed to be in, they'll just murder you, send you down to the to the uh, morgue. I don't know. Most of the puzzles though are just a matter of picking things up, moving them to the other time, and throwing them and or giving them to people. But you know, I did notice, this, especially this point, especially with the little this girl, point, man. About this yeah. point, I wanted to like mother brain laser beam that little girl, dude. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> the other thing is, it's real picky about where you throw that balloon at that girl. Because I went right up to the gate and was like, nope, can't throw. Back up, can't throw. Back up. No, I got eaten by a mole, so I got to go take <sighs> the balloon back all the way over <laughs> through my quick three bunny hopping. Yeah, um, no, that particular checkpoint was a. Bitch. <laughs> yeah, and and then like you go through the gate and like your time runs out and then you die in a vat of acid and you're like, oh, oh. Um, then yeah, so you you go you go to the hospital. <laughs> you gotta is. like, you gotta go fix a hostage crisis. And I'm like, man, I'm not I'm not dealing with this anymore. There's potential for something really cool here, but I think they kind of missed the mark. <laughs> um, the the game is focused on the wrong aspects here, so I will give it one chair. Good idea, poor execution. Pedro, before you get yeah. into it, because um, I, I, we're watching your gameplay right now, and I I see that at this point where you just beyond anger or upset, you're just like, oh, okay, well, let's try that again. No, that was me just going, all right, fine, I'll just keep freaking doing this. <laughs> mm. But yeah, no, I, it seems like we all stopped at around the same point, which was after this bit. Um, yeah. Here's a Unity game that decided 60 is where it's at and that's where it stays. So you can see the if you're watching the video version, if you look over there on the uh, lower left corner, you see it's 60. So 144 hertz people can eat the proverbial bag of schlongs. And yeah, driving this uh, 2560 uh, by 1440, 144 hertz monitor is a GTX uh, 1080, along with a Ryzen 7 3700X mm -hmm. on KDE Neon. And yeah, you know, technically the rest of it is fine as far as mix with the working goes. The um, DualShock 4 worked out of the box, no issues. The sound, sound, and the video videos, so that's good. Uh, as for the fun, I like the atmosphere and the juxtaposition of the cheery past versus the bleak future. It It's really well done, and yeah, the atmosphere, especially in the future, where you get no background noise whatsoever, just like eerie soundtrack in the back, that was really well done. The mechanics, on the other hand, feel more like an afterthought rather than the focus, which is kind of a problem because this is a video game we're talking about and the mechanics are where the interactivity sort of shines. And but Doctor, case, I am Pagliacci. It doesn't shine at all. And yeah, the, they were telling a story and they... I. I guess, yeah, it was just an afterthought because they went with the most basic framework which would allow them to tell that story, but still have maybe some puzzles? Heavy air quotes around puzzles there? Uh, as far as narratives go, I like it. Uh, as a story, yes, absolutely. Give me more of that, but as, as a video game? Yeah, no. No. Two chairs. Every time I see that Batman guy, I just think, I'm Batman. I'm not Every super time. Batman. It's like, no, isn't I, it a cat? No. Uh -uh. <laughs> it, do, it, do, it, does, it, does, it doesn't matter. It is In very the back clearly of my mind, I, I'm just like, Martha. <laughs> say, Martha. Did you say that name? So, Let's, what do we All think right. about it at the end of the day? I mean, it was a good attempt from a, you know, personally, I blame Calgary. And I think this is what Calgary looks like if it was mixed with Detroit. <laughs> um, Sounds about right. I think. 
there's, there's less there's here. less ice all over the place. What do you feel, Jordan? Do you feel? I mean, I, there's there's a good mechanic here. I mean, that yeah, the, there. I I I think the time shifting mechanic is okay. Like I said, I would like them to remove the thirty minute time limit, but maybe add some more obstacles in either world. Because like it's really the the train segment was also really annoying because you basically just have to wait until the train goes by and yeah. then you yeah, can do in your one thing. One of the there, places it's timing based, and in the other it isn't. It's just like oh dicks. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> There, there, there can definitely be a lot more gameplay consistency. The story is definitely interesting, and it's kind of fun to like piece together what is happening. But like I said, my theory is there's some like grandfather paradox shit. Like this is the dude who's responsible for, responsible for the explosion at the beginning and the intro cinematic. Oh, by the way, did you restart this game at any point? Mm -mm. Sitting through that like twenty second Daedalic interactive screen. Let mm. God damn. Let me skip that, yeah. please. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't skip the intro cutscenes, which is something that's so, like, early noughties, late 90s. It's like, seriously? Early really? noughties? <laughs> We're the best noughties. <laughs> All right. Coming up next, crocodiles are the devil, Bobby Boucher. So are emulators. Well, uh, something about Daft Punk playing in my house. My house, except I live in an apartment, but so uh, that doesn't world, work. Baby. <laughs> uh, we, we, yeah, might, we might. If you'd get like lucky. to let us know, if you'd like to let us know whether Daft Punk is playing in your house, in your house, uh, you can do so by going to LinuxGameCast.com, hitting the contact button, and filling out the form. LW. Uh, LWDW is that show that we do on Wednesdays. You can also send some feedback to that. But right now, we are interested in your hate mail. So make sure LGC Weekly is the show that uh, you beep boop go fuck yourself. Uh, so <laughs> Rude. <laughs> How dare you tell me that Daft Punk that? <laughs> I suppose we can start off with Klein's it. thing. It's the new album, dude. God. Yeah, uh, <laughs> So, uh, Klein, Klein is saying, thank you so much. I wanted to install Devil May Cry 5 myself, but I just couldn't do it. Also, I would have never changed DirectX 12 to 11. You saved me. Or maybe you should. I'm sorry, you misread Coolant? Shaved Coolant? me. Coolant. Uh, Coolant. 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 Do it. This comes off the heels <laughs> of um, DMC5 for Proton. You get to do a little thing with the MF plan. Uh, just play around with it but that is one of the things that uh, you need to be aware of that's why i threw this in here because that was also an issue with the uh zombie pew pew simulation uh what was R it? R it was yeah resident remake. evil it <laughs> a lot of games new ones uh, will launch in dx12 and you don't think because you would you immediately think dx12 that's not even gonna launch it runs it's just it's it's the future bad like right now <laughs> so yeah do a double tick like, if you're seeing really bad performance, you could be in DX12. You know, it's not going to default to DX11 with Proton or Wine anymore. It'll probably just go right into DX12. So keep that in mind. A little PSA. That's why I threw that in there. Yep. Let's talk about emos. And the last one the natural is... natural uh, predators of... Um, yeah. Australians. <laughs> an entire continent. Yes. I don't know where uh, Obep K12 is from, but uh, is asking, what's your favorite emulation game? Haven't tried a lot of games in emulation. Now I don't have time to play. That's probably why then. P.S. Is there a particular online multiplayer game you enjoy that works great on Linux? There are a few. There's quite there's quite a bunch. All of the all of the serious Sam's, um, Tricky mm. Towers, the Valve ones, uh, Speed Speedrunners, Speedrunners. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, Quake Three. A little Quake bit of Black Arena. Mesa. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Black Mesa. It it works. What there is of it. <laughs> Dead, I Dead Island was okay. That's, That's pretty good. Um, armor mm -hmm. Armadillos. Yeah. Our, our, our Armadillo. Divinity works great for multiplayer. Original Sin. Oh yeah, yeah. Never Winter Nights. Yeah, <laughs> there you go, man. You get retro. But but for 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 emulators, I, so I was I was thinking about that earlier because like Pokemon, po po Pokemon, um, all of basically any of like the first three Metal Gear Solid games, uh, uh Solid uh, Sons of Liberty or Snake Eater, like they they run great in PCSX two, and they are fantastic yeah. games. All of um, most of the PSX, uh, most of the PS two games run great on PSX two. Yeah. 
I, I, I could just like spit out a list of my favorite PlayStation 2 games. Those all run great. There's a, there's a host of like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis games that run amazing. Like, I, 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 yeah, I don't know. I'd what, say what, my favorite one is definitely the Pokemons because those are the ones that I play the most. I had my PSP with custom firmware and I played Pokemons on it. Um,. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't find anything that runs Bayonetta 2 worth a damn under Linux. So, yeah, I don't know. Womp womp. <laughs> Boo. It gives me the Not sound. yet, anyway. <laughs> and on that Bayo flavored bombshell, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-mm, Lex. Let's cue the music. You can always find us around 8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time. That's where we kick us off live. If you're a patron, come hop in Discord. Say hi an hour beforehand where we have the um, production meeting. I guess that's what you call it, a production meeting. And uh, if you want to get in touch with me, I'm just at Vin on mass.linuxgamecast.com and at Vin Stone on the Twitters. I'm Jordan Spung. I still haven't learned my lesson and I'm still eating nuts and hopefully not choking to death while I'm delivering this. If you want to see me <laughs> choke to death, give me a follow at The Burning Fool on Twitter or at Frojo at mass.linuxgamecast.com. I don't know. Every single time I get a Mastodon, I enable the federated timeline. It's like, oh, Porn, porn, tits. Porn, 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 tits. Uh, so, yeah. The, I don't go there very often. <laughs> but, if for some reason you'd like to follow me, it's unaccounted for with the actual number four at the end. But I'd rather you follow me on Twitter. That's at unaccounted for with F-O-U-R. It's just written down. Yeah. I Someone, mean... Are you going to let your... Have you reserved the screen name for your child, Anakin Farrer? <laughs> and I counted fire? Fire, fire. <laughs> and I counted <war>. five. <laughs> you know, he's not going to like come visit you when you're in the home. Just. <laughs> Good night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Time for some credits. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> it's, if you wear one of our shirts, that's very true. Yes. Mm hmm. And I suppose since we're doing the credits now, might as well thank uh, Basil for a uh, four-month resub. Thank you very much for that. Oh. <laughs> it's the CDIII. -I -I. It's like Alpha had a sex with the Philips CDI. We gotta, we gotta thank CDI we deserve, but never again. Yeah, uh, we gotta thank Caplo, um, Artharian Empty, <laughs> The Atomic Ass, Michael G, Bob Brams, Aldius, Haplo, Mac Geek, Scott, Frostclaw, Drummer, Letters, and LibreQuest. We got our regular producers too. They're pretty awesome, like David S. Smash G, Michael Egal, Jolly yeah, Topical Gaius. We got Dan W. Luke Matthew, W. Matt C. Massavoni, the Targos Grazen, Jack was Fox Dog, Nine Bullets, Nicole, Nine Bullets. Yeah, they dug him out of Fifty Cent. Uh, Wintercell, <laughs> Sherwig, Greg, Kai Linux Cast, The Sildad, Kaskus, Mir, Ertain, Vascott, Ryan, Nick, oh. Igor. Linux, we Nuv. have Igor. It's Igor. Damn it. Vera Tanura. <laughs> it's Christoph Three, Linux Nuru again. Abstraction Dust Geek Christian. and Ox. And OX for the coma. <laughs> Underscore coma. <laughs> Say it right. Never. Oh, man. Eat some nuts. I will. Um, nom, 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 nom. I would say... Delicious nuts. Yep, did learn a thing. Choke, maybe. Choke. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> That's enough snuff mill for tonight. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Welcome back to the next snuff cast. Awful glass. Wait. Five dudes.